I often get asked what is my favorite electric bike, a question that is very hard to answer and it depends where you ride, if it's commuting, training or just for fun. I'll try to make that video at the beginning of 2023 based on the price levels and after I visit the CES 2023 in Las Vegas and see what's new up there and try to compare with the best all-around model or all-around best different models for different categories and try to test as much as possible on the event and compare to what I tested so far on the channel. Right now, since I'm playing with CYC kits and I'm focused on mountain biking, my dreamy bike is the new Scott Lumen and this design, it's clean and mean. This e-bike looks like jewelry. Advertised as the fastest world e-bike, which is not. This new model looks stunning, suspension hidden inside, so much adjustability and all cables, adjustments hidden inside the frame, smooth lines, I think this is the best looking e-bike on the market today. But the performance, it's extremely low compared to what's available on the market today. And at $16,000, this just doesn't make any sense in any way you put it. It is slick, it is beautiful, it's 9 pounds lighter than my e-bike, but will this 9 pounds justify the power output of the CYC X1 kit that I paid a fraction of the price? This week alone, after posting these two videos, a lot of subscribers asked me very interesting questions. I like a lot the Bike Tricks XD model. This is a beast. That'll be so much fun on trails. Also useful as a utility e-bike for hauling heavy cargo in the city and off-road. It can work as a commuter bike and be super fun. The second bike is the LMX64. Looks even better. More attractive frame, dual suspension, with enough travel to handle any off-road or downhill. Not so much of a commuter, but it's disappointing here when you see such a big motor and a limitation to only 45 km an hour or 28 miles an hour. And all that extra weight and with a $9,000 price tag, this is just crazy expensive and unjustified. So I finally finished putting together the X1 Gen 3 kit and I need to share with you the specs and compare with the above models. I think this is a good fit. This kit will fit any off-road or city road bike like a glove. To put together this e-bike cost me around $4,000 and you can do it for so much less if you're on a budget. The entire kit, which includes the motor, the controller and the brackets assembled all together comes for $980 and the battery about $510. But with this code you can get 5% off and you can pick up a good all-around mountain bike from eBay for about $1,500 or if you look on the Craigslist or Facebook marketplace you might be able to find a better deal for around or under 1k and assemble your dream bike for about 22 to 2500 US dollars. And if you already have a bike, it will only cost you $1500 and you get all you need to assemble and convert your bike to a compact powerhouse. So the kit is so easy and fast to assemble, does not require many tools, any knowledge nor experience, it's pretty straightforward to bolt in, plug and play. The battery actually, if I take it outside, it fits in a triangle and uh, this case is big and bulk and heavy so I'm looking to find a company near that can make those Kydex uh, sheets, uh, coasters so I can mount it inside here, it will look so much slicker. The kit doesn't get hot but it's cold outside, it will be interesting to see how it performs in the summertime, need to fix that, need to, you know, make this uh, more presentable, it's, which is almost there. First uh, setting. It is so much power that you don't actually work out a lot, so uh, it's cool they have the app, they can go an app and play with the, with the power and adjust to exactly what you need. Uh, but very nice console, uh, the acceleration, it's uh, very intuitive, very gradual, but once you go and lock it 3000 watts, four times more power, so when you press it will be very punchy, so that's coming, and that's full test speed, and uh, hope we get this on a trail and see how it does, but so far looks slick. On the first charge, I was able to cover 14.6 miles, going really fast. So uh, yeah, if you go, let's say slower, I was mostly in the race three, pushing hard. If you go, let's say two or one, uh, you can get 25 to 30 miles in range easily. Uh, that's in the city. And I think this is a good commuter because even the first setting you can get 25, 26 miles an hour without pushing hard. So getting this kit with this battery and placing on a commuter bike, commuter frame will be super cool uh, and I like the power, the response and here I have a very small sprocket so for trails it's perfect when you go on a bigger speed it's so much power but let's say if you want to commute and get more speed uh, swap for a bigger ring here and it'll do so much better guys top speed 
I reach maximum speed pedaling and I cannot push harder since I ghost pedal with or without throttle reaching 39 miles an hour which is insane. Getting a bigger sprocket will allow you to go way beyond this level. This frame is not designed for top speed but you can mount this kit on a road type frame with bigger crank sprocket and get more range and faster speeds for more of a commuter bike. The kit was delivered locked at 750 watts and my phone just got upgraded to Android 13 version. The CYC app is working on 12 version so I cannot unlock it now. I either have to wait for CYC to upgrade the app or find a 12 version to unlock it to maximum power and this kit can do up to 3000 watts. Unlocking the maximum power will drain your battery faster but you'll get so much more punch and crazy power delivery. It is shocking how small and light this kit is and how much power it can deliver. You have three levels of speed and you can go to race mode and unlock three faster levels of speed. Power delivery is smooth and so intuitive. And at third speed it's so easy and fun to ride. And at third speed level it is so much power that you're not actually working out. I find that in the first level it's so comfortable. You, you know, you have a lot of assist but you're still able to push and get that workout and it's not hard it's so easy you can drive for long distances 5 10 15 miles and not get tired and you can adjust this kit from 250 watts all the way to like 350 450 750 watts all the way to 3000 watts and have crazy power output we have torque and cadence sensor this motor engages so quickly but the power up hill it's insane even when it's locked uh, i don't have uh, in the city any steeper hills or trails nearby but I found this area, which is pretty good inclined, to do a quick test. Look how much smaller it is. And uh, let's look from this side. So here's a crank covering it, almost super compact, small, light. And uh, I found a hill here. And uh, it's quite steep. I think it's a pretty good uh, test and challenge for this kid. And uh, see if I can make it all the way on top. Um, yeah, it's much leaner there but here right here this path is super steep but i'll try to just quickly do one test and maybe one on this side here it's super steep and see if i can make it all the way on top uh, after christmas where i can get a chance to come back to the city and uh, go on the trails and really put this kit to the full test but this is just a follow-up just a quick test to see how it does The grass is wet and right there at the top it just slides, it doesn't have traction because it's morning and it's like kind of freezing and melting and it's wet so it doesn't grip and it just slides but it has so much power. I'll try to go on that side because it's less uh, grass. Here looks like it's a better path, maybe we'll have better traction and uh, I'll be able to go all the way to the top. Most likely after the holidays and after CES trip, I'll try to find trails near the city and put this bike to complete test. But right now, the way it sits, this frame is super light, twice lighter than these two other bikes. But the most important part is the performance and this package is even better at much lower price. But I'd like to see which setup will you choose between this kit and the frame that you like versus LMX64 and Biketrix XD. Let me know in the comments below. But if you want to go crazy and leave these two e bikes in the dust, upgrade to X1 Pro Gen 3 
with X6 controller that will run you $1215, but you'll be able to get the ultimate e-bike power of 5000 watts and 280 Newton meter torque with 72 volt battery. You will overpower and outrun any bike on the market today, but you'll need a proper alloy frame to support this kit and this power output. I'm glad that CYC is pushing the limits here and giving you the chance to create your perfect e-bike and the freedom to set it up and build the bike the way you like it, with unlimited potential and ride with the most power you can get. All of their kits are maxed out and squeeze all of the possible power and there's no need to look for aftermarket controllers or anything else. The support is amazing and I only wish they collaborated with Pinion Gear Company to see how much more you can push the limits of crazy power and engineering. So I put here a graph and I put all four bikes uh, from the lowest price to the highest. And look here at the motor power delivery. CYC, if you unlock the kit, will have more power, more top speed, and torque can be very close or higher. I don't have all these bikes, so I can't compare. The battery, 52 volts on no setups. Only Scott has 36 volts. It's very hard to comment on the battery capacity and size because you need to get all these bikes in the same area and test them with the same rider at the same speed so it's very hard to comment on this section but the weight and price the biggest difference here is the cyc and scott it's only eight to nine pounds difference but the price it's almost double but if you own the frame it'll be only fifteen hundred dollars i think it's clear here that cyc holds the edge and performance and the price and makes sense if you're looking for a bike that's going to perform smaller factor it's not as good looking at the scott lumen but i feel like i can go over performance and i'll choose performance over looks looks you can work on that you can customize and adjust and make it you know uh, exactly how you like it. it will take longer time but i feel like i like the process and i'm willing to invest into that but i'd like to see in the comments below what would you choose what is your dream bike and uh why so please let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.